Boathouse is a new venue on the Riverway in Guildford, close to the town centre. Inside, with Soul Space, we have created a community-focused, independent members club and co-working space with places to work, gather and grow. When Richard bought the site in 2015, he brought the Leroy boat hire business alongside it. The Leroy family had an original boat hire from the late 19th century. Later, the Leroy name was reused by other businesses, including the boat hire at our site in 1961. The old business closed in 2013 due to the recession and years of bad weather. Overall, Guildford is pretty well put together, but the river is focal to it, but it's not really as utilised as it should be. And looking in the past, you can see it has been. The River Way is a natural river that runs through Guildford for Richard Weston. He came up with this idea to actually try and make it navigable. Big bends have been cut off and, it, and it's had locks put in. 1900, there were three businesses, separate businesses, and probably all the way up to World War II, they were actually hiring out boats, so clearly there was a big demand. We suddenly started developing this great idea for a building based on a, a boathouse uh, concept. A friend of mine sort of called up and said, do you know the boathouse is for sale? I went down and had a look, and uh, I just thought it was an amazing location. Martin, who's the architect who designed this boathouse, I sort of mentioned it to him and he, he sort of got fairly excited by it as well, I think, and started sketching out a few things. It was a site to, to die for, really, and the existing building was a right old mess, in my opinion. So anything that was going to be built there would be an improvement, and, and whatever could have been built there could have been very modern, or it could have been more traditional. And I said to Richard, well, if I get involved, it will be traditional. I knew Richard had a lot of vision for it. He just wanted to create a really great community building. To do this, we need to have a really strong value system around it. And that's where we came up with Soul Space as a business. Jess kind of honed his initial idea and we then came up with Soul Space and kind of creating a building that is all about community. The initial concept was to make it a meeting place of lots of different type of people and, and companies and charities so that they could all benefit from knowing about each other. With the energy of, of Jessica and Charlotte, that, then it really took off. I hope that it leads the way in terms of sustainable practices that show businesses can still be commercially successful and considerate. I just hope it's a jewel in the local community. A building should be balanced and look interesting from a distance and as you get a bit nearer other things should be revealed and yet nearer still yet more detail until you know you go through the front door and, and, and there are things to see that you couldn't see from a, a few yards back. It became apparent that um, most people now worked with uh, computer-aided drafting, which I didn't do, and therefore it was quite tricksy for me to, um, to coordinate everybody else. So with um, the help of Patrick, the quantity surveyor who I knew, I bowed out and um, Mitchell Evans in Godalming took the project over. Martin was old school, pencil, paper, scale rule. So it was a, 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 actually a real privilege to be involved with him and see how it used to be done. Uh, and some of the, the images that he produced just brought the project to life. Everything's centered around a CAD-based drawing. So we brought um, Mitchell Evans on board um, to take over and develop Martin's original scheme uh, in, into modern day technology, if you like. The planning permission took 
till 2018 plus another year for environmental conditions. We were going to go in 2020 and then Covid hit and then finally started the build in April 2021. From April 2021 I've been full time on the project, building the building from the ground up. All of these have been challenges that you have to face but we eventually overcame them and here we are. We were brought in when they were just on the verge of getting planning permission. For us to be involved that early is not always the case, um, but it's nice to be and it means that we're signed up and a party uh, to all of the design processes and ideas. The project's got just about every form of construction known to man in it. It's quite an odd shaped building, so what first struck me was the fact that there's not no, really any two parallel lines in it, which is always a difficult thing when you're trying to create construction drawings for something. It's much easier as a square box, but of course it doesn't look very pretty. The original intention was that the building would not look brand new when it, when it was built, but would then gradually age over the years as Victorian boathouses tend to do. It, it's one of those projects that just strikes a chord for some reason. Uh, and sometimes you can't always put a finger on it. It's just, it's interesting, it's different, it's challenging. That's what we like. Clients come and go and architects come and go and times change and the buildings get left behind. So it is, an, it, I think, an enormous responsibility to build something which you say, well, perhaps this is going to be here for the next 50 or 100 years. And you do need an understanding tolerant and patient client who's prepared to spend proper money building a really lovely building. And I'm very grateful. And I'm sure the people of Guildford will be when it's finished. <laughs> the local area is a great inspiration for both the design of our branding, the interior design, and also the concept of how we are going to create the cafe and its offering. When we started talking about the interiors, I wanted to bring someone on to do the branding who could also do the interior design because I felt like it was really important that those were symbiotic. We kind of started off from like a sustainable approach and we wanted to make sure that we were referencing to like biophilic design, bringing the outside in, creating spaces that reflect nature and encourage well-being. The river flows right alongside the building, so of course that's a really lovely starting point for ideas. The idea of the riverbed and taking material from the, the riverbed and thinking about clay and stone and looking at the reflections on the water and how we might be able to play with light and reflection and ripples throughout the space and then kind of upwards to the tree canopy and thinking about how we can use timber and greenery and bring in natural textiles throughout the space. We've also been inspired um, by biophilic design throughout the layout and creating them gathering spots where people can gather, communicate and create a community within the building, which is really important. The space is designed to feel like an extension of their home and it's got the same home comforts and lounges that make people feel relaxed. We don't want anything to feel too perfect. It's really important that people feel really at home in the space. One of the things that's been the most exciting about this project is the ability to bring lots of artisans on board and to really um, showcase what UK craft is like at the moment and how amazingly talented um, some local people particularly are. My husband Ewan is a joiner, so we work with him quite often on projects where we need something very specific with a really um, artisanal touch and the boathouse naturally lends itself to some really beautiful pieces and um, things that help us to tell the story throughout the building. We are really sensitively researching old rowing paddles and, and details from the old business that used to be on the site and then he's recreating those by hand so that we can have something with a real sense of history. As a freelancer, I was finding it hard to always be alone and not really have spaces that felt like 
somewhere you could return to over and over again. But really it is a hybrid, it's a solution of a members club, co-working space, event space, all, all together in this building. I think the building is going to add so much value to this area. Guildford's crying out for more independent businesses in the first place. It's really nice to see an independent do it really, really well. They're going to provide opportunities for people wherever they can. They're supporting artists, they're supporting craftspeople, they're going to host workshops, they're going to give spaces to people who perhaps otherwise couldn't afford it. And I just think their whole vision for the business is really, really exciting. And I, I don't think we've even started yet to look at the, the full potential of what they can do for the area. Through the Soul Space concept and this incredible building, I believe we have created the best possible place to enable people to do purposeful work. And we hope that this all has a ripple effect outside of the building.